Well, for many, 2020 has simply been a year to forget. Between the pandemic, lockdowns, mass protests and myriad disasters, the world wasn't short of strife and news photographers weren't short for stories. Associated Press has compiled what they see as the photos which best capture this year of tumult. And there are some incredible snaps in there. I went over them with AP's Director of Photography, J. David Ake. Well, David, before we go through these pictures that we've selected, of all the years you've been in the business, just how trying has 2020 been for you and your teams? It's, it's a very unique year. Um, there were trying um, stuff all over the world from COVID, which of course is worldwide, to continuing refugee crises, to civil unrest, uh, to political uh, drama uh, in lots of places. It was it was a very unique year, and it was unique in how to cover it too, because you know you had to take extra precautions. Um, you had to make sure you were you were safe while you were out on the streets uh, making the images. So it was it was challenging both phys physically and I think it was strenuous. Um, and 2020 is going to go down as a really unique year. Well, let's start with the pandemic, arguably the story of 2020. And it's a story that's often told through numbers about infection rates, R numbers, etc. It's obviously really important to get the personal stories across, capture those moments, isn't it? Well, at first it was a challenge just for safety sake, because we didn't know what we were doing with, do, dealing with and, and, you know, how to approach people. We wanted to be safe, uh, both for the photographers and for the, for the people we were encountering. Um, as time went on, we 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 got better at it, um, and and felt better about it, and I think people felt better about having us uh, around. And as you said, it's really important to go from numbers to humanity, and so our our goal was to put a face on on COVID and the humanity, both for survivors, uh, victims, and families. And um, I hope we did a I hope we did a good job worldwide on that. All right, let's move on to President Donald J. Trump. Now, his presidency sure has been eventful, but how would you describe him as a photographer's subject? He act, we actually have very good access to President Trump. He, he likes having his picture taken. He likes to be seen. Um, so the access to him is actually quite good. Um, you know, the, the events are, are crafted, very well crafted, as, as political events are around the world. It's not unique to the United States. Um, you know, so the challenge for photographers is to find a genuine moment um, in all of that stagecraft, if you will. And that photo of uh, Trump at Mount Rushmore, it perhaps speaks to how he sees himself and his legacy. Mount Rushmore was uh, pretty close to Election Day, um, and he has made comments before that he'd like to have his, uh, his face up on Mount Rushmore. So it was kind of a way to wrap it all together. Now, the U.S. mass protests, I'd imagine it would be uh, at times a difficult story to cover. They are difficult. Um, you have to worry about your safety, of course. The photographers worry about their safety. It's doubled this year because you're worried about uh, the pandemic safety on top of your physical safety. Um, you know, if you get into, you know, uh, between protesters and police, um, it's pretty easy to get hurt. Um, either from the protesters and the police interacting and you just happen to get in the middle of it. So you have to be really aware of where you are and your circumstances. Um, the two photographers from the photos you highlighted are particularly skilled at this. Uh, Julio Cortez has the flag, uh, upside down flag picture in front of the burning store, store which came, became almost iconic. Um, and John Manchillo, who is, who is very skilled at covering uh, civil unrest, has the woman on the uh, um, on the ground looking up, looking uh, looking terrified. Um, I think both of those capture uh, the events in Minneapolis uh, pretty well. All right, David, I want to end on a happy note. I particularly love this uh, photo from Esteban Felix in Chile of a father and a young daughter returning home from a play date three months after their, the girl's mother died from COVID-19. Now, it's a beautiful, candid moment. There's actually a lot of beauty amid the chaos of 2020 that, that you guys captured. Yeah, I, th I think that's what we discussed earlier on when I said we were trying to capture the pandemic on all levels. You know, both the joy of recovering, uh, the sorrow of losing a loved one, the struggle of, of dealing with it, um, you know, the, with the medical professionals and, and patients alike. Um, in this case, um, the photographer earned the trust of the family because he's clearly in the backseat of the car uh, riding. 
Um, and that, that takes time for them to sort of forget the photographers there and, and trust them. Um, and it's just it's just a nice moment of, of happiness in what, you know, surrounded by some difficult times. And I think it's important to remember that. I think that's a I think what we found in a lot of cases is that that people rose up to the occasion and there was there were some really touching moments of humanity and caring this year in the in the midst of the pandemic.